In this tutorial, we'll cover how to get started with MediaBank, how to get an account and log in, as well as an overview of the dashboard. To get started, go to www.mediabank.com. We support all major browsers, but as we do the majority of our testing on Google Chrome, we recommend using that. If your company already has a MediaBank account, all you need to do to get your own user account is to click on Account and choose Get User Account. Then simply write your company name and fill in your information on the next page. Once your local administrator has approved of your account, you'll get an email with the login information. If your company does not have a MediaBank account already, you can request one by clicking Account and Register New Company. If you already have a user account, simply click the Sign In button. You can log in with either your username, email or phone number. If you ever were to forget your password, this is where you can request a temporary password. Once you're logged in, you're directed to the dashboard. The first time you sign in, you'll be welcomed by a widget that wants to give you a short tour of the dashboard. It will show and explain the different parts of the dashboard, as well as give you information about what the applications do and how to change your settings. There is a Help button located in the bottom left corner. This can be really helpful. Simply click it and let it know what you need help with. It will do its best to find what you are looking for. If you need further help, you can use the live chat to contact our support team, or you can send us an email at support at mediabank.me. As the tooltip widget showed, you can find the applications here. Don't worry if some of the applications are greyed out. That just means they're not licensed for you as a user. Please contact your local admin if you need access to other applications. If you have access to multiple company accounts, you can switch from one to the other in this drop-down menu. The dashboard is also where you change your settings. You can, for instance, choose whether you want to see assets during upload. Should you want to personalize your Workspace 2 settings, simply click this Edit button and add or remove fields as you wish. Keep in mind that the total width needs to be exactly 100%. Because I am an administrator, as you can see here, this is where I would approve or deny pending users' accounts, as well as add them to the correct user group. The main menu is located at the top of the page. The menu shows you the tasks and actions available for the application that you're in, so clearly there are none available here as they're usually related to an asset. You can also use the main menu to navigate between the applications. If you're an administrator, this is where you can conduct different administrative tasks such as managing user accounts or the app and group configuration. These will be greyed out if you are not an administrator. Finally, over here, you have an overview of the contact and support. This will redirect you to our support site where you can find documentations, manuals and even delivery specs.